Alright y'all, welcome to another Garish Mod Tool Tutorial. So this time I'm going to be reviewing the button tool. And guys, this is a critical button uh, in order to start making Gmod, uh, if you're a new player, and start in order to start making Gmod a little more advanced. Because with the button tool you can activate your thrusters, your lights uh dynamite whatever that might require what might require a button to activate it you can activate it through uh a, or a keyboard button you can activate it through this button without having to press the keyboard so what how this works is key to simulate let's just say that it will be um keypad ins which is the zero on my keypad uh toggle that basically means um should stay on or like when I press it to stay on, or if I set this off, I'll have to hold E. Um, like now it's on. Oh wait, we can't see. Oh crap! Like when I press now, it's on and stays on. But if I do it like this, I have to creep on holding it. I'll show you later. So keypad ins. That is what we're gonna set this one. We're gonna talk it. You can choose your model down here. Uh, let's use this. Looks pretty awesome. Good. So. How does this work? Well, you spawn. Oh yeah, you see now it's toggled, so it stay in. And if I create another one, I have to hold it. Like, see if now I press E, now I release. Press E, release. I'm gonna toggle it. Um, that was too much explanation. Oh, okay. So how this works? You set the key on the button to what key you want to activate. For example, let's say you want to activate your thruster. Uh, we're gonna put some put some flames so we can see when it no rings. That seems pretty cool. Oops. There you go. So, uh, oh, and forward. That's gonna be see. That's gonna be keep it in. So now, guys, watch this. When I press the this is set to ins and the button is set to ins, which means that these are kind of linked now. See, it's toggled. So when I press the button. It goes off and starts it on. And if I press it again, two times, I have to. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I have to. Uh, it will shut it off. Now the same you can do with um, the wind, the winch tool. Uh, you can make a button that goes up and a button that goes down. Thruster, forward and back. Hover ball up and down. Dynamite. There you see. Oops, that was wrong. <laughs> um, so you can activate with this with all the stuff in Gears Mod that requires a button that activates it. Uh, <coughs> yeah, well, G bump lol. So, well, guys, that's basically what the button tool does. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. And well, I'll see y'all in the next video.